company was started in 1984 from a staff of probably about 17 to 65. Um, we are world leaders in the chemically bonded sand part sector of the foundry industry. We can give a customer option for a whole foundry from sand mixing down through to mold handling um, and then reclamation mechanical and thermal reclamation. So we've got the whole package and we can do bespoke um, machines if the, if the customer needs it. Nine years ago we got SolidWorks starting with um, a couple of licenses. We've now got seven licenses including a simulation license. Um, we're looking to upgrade to Another further two licenses and changing to network licenses because we've got um, off-site uh, designers who need access to the EPDM system. The company for years used to use um, AutoCAD um, 2D drawings, um, which is pretty much a nightmare because you've got to recreate every view. Uh, with the 3D part of SolidWorks that um, has made it easier to visualize the machines, new machines, um, for the people with lots of foundry experience in the company but not necessarily have got the engineering drawing expertise. So you can send the 3D model out, you can do exploded views and they can easily pick up the, um, if we've made mistakes in the design or something is not quite going to work. Um, and also the interface of different machines working, that have to work with each other, um, that's helped a lot with that too. Our main design challenges, I would say, are bespoke machines for a customer that's, a, that's got a particular need. Um, the parametric features in SolidWorks enables us to um, change a design, existing design, um, quite easily. And we can get it out for approval quickly. And in the manufacturing drawings, you have to make slight changes because they're there already. So we can suit the customer's need and timescales. For design reuse, it's, um, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, for new designs, obviously, with a simulation tool that we've um, got now, um, that also helps so we don't have to build a machine and then test it and something goes wrong or it destroys itself, especially with vibratory equipment. Um, we can safely now design a machine and be sure that when we go into the testing phase, it will be right and we might have to make small changes instead of the machine actually have the body of the machine refabricated. PDM Professional we've had probably for about two years now. We identified a problem where our revision control was um, an issue um, and then we approached Innova to solve the problem and they suggested PDM Professional. We went through quite a, a long phase of deciding how we're going to lay it out and they were working with us hand in hand to get the file structure correct. The advice we got was brilliant because if you set it up wrong initially um, you can have a lot of problems later but with their help we set it up properly, a file structure is in place and our revision control is spot on now. Other features we use in SolidWorks are um, the speedback feature. Where we've had a problem with um, large layouts taking a lot of computing power and the speedback function which is nice which you can turn sub-assemblies on and off um, so your computer doesn't struggle as much. We use um, PhotoView 360 for rendering for sales or for our quotation system on the ERP system. We um, put renders with all the machines that we quote. 3D layouts will help potential customers to visualize what we're going to do with the plant. Um, we've recently been looking into start, um, start using motion study so we can actually move the plant around. So the salesman have got a really good tool which the customer can actually see the plant moving. We got simulation about a year and a half ago. Innova gave us training, full as a three day training course, which um, definitely opened our eyes on how to use it. Um, and then the support afterwards, which I think we probably would have been lost without Innova um, support. But we quickly realised that we needed the support and we use it constantly. You, f you pick up the phone, dial the number and you know, we're on first, first name terms with all the guys pretty much there. Um, and I've not yet encountered a problem that they haven't solved for us very quickly. And I'd like to say that that's attributed to the growth of the company.